all these situations, it's not you. It's everyone else. Well, here's the thing what, what, that we've yet to address is that they are not following the family code. And they did not present allegations. And when you had those false allegations against you, they treated you the right way with dignity, dignity and respect and came. And then appeared and then they were able to dismiss it. As I repeatedly keep informing you that I was not given that privilege, they did not address any concerns. And then in fact, when I wasn't present at court and uh, years later, they concocted neglect. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but do you understand what I'm saying? I don't understand why you wouldn't hold them accountable for not following the family code. You're deflecting. You're so, so you're blaming me because they're committing crimes and it's my fault that a multitude of parties are choosing to abuse their power. You're blaming me for it. I'm not blaming you, you for anything. What I just said was in all these situations, all these different scenarios, it's always someone else's fault. Okay, so who, who who's it to blame? Tell me who's to blame that they didn't follow the family code, took my child custody rights away when I wasn't present, did not give me if an attorney, that, and then did it for neglect. To blame? If they uh and then for neglect when I wasn't present. I okay. wasn't in her life, they wouldn't give me access to her. So before I'm, I, before when she was in your life, I told you I already stated that when they CPS investigated her, she said she was very at, happy at home. I was creative and loving, and she had, I was fun, and she was very happy at home. That disappeared. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know if I believe that. I mean, that's just the honest to God truth. I mean, I can't do nothing but be honest. I mean, because that's that's just me. I mean, hey, I. So taking my daughter to SeaWorld, you going with us for a lot of family events, me taking you and paying the trip and paying for a lot of situations for us, looking at Christmas lights, going to uh, water parks, um, going swimming all the time, going to lakes fishing, carving pumpkins and all these kind of different things, um, going, uh, take, paying for family gatherings with my own funds, you living with me, participating at church events, like I said, footing the bill for a multitude of other parties, not going going out clubbing with, with a lot of family members every blue moon I go out but not going out clubbing for a long time being in church involved in church now all of a sudden now today in 2023 you believe that I was abusive yeah, when because, I because of that incident that happened with my child before what incident happened with your child you don't remember no because there was nothing what tell me I mean, if you don't remember, then I just I don't understand why I could repetitively get slandered. Be because I got before I got the stalker, your kids loved me, and you used to say, "No, I, before before you stop taking your medicine." Okay, so now I was on medication. I have a history so you, of being so, mentally ill. So you didn't go to inmation more when we were younger. So you didn't go there, and you didn't take medicine. I did eventually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that, but it was it was obviously. because of depression. I I didn't know because I had been molested, I've been raped, and I've experienced a lot of being walked all over, and I was a doormat. So because of depression, and I that's where I started trying to build myself up and getting help, so I wouldn't be around toxic environments with people that slander me, lie, mistreat me, and treat me like trash. So then when I went to MHMR to get help with the depression, and then I went to codependency in different groups, so I stopped being a doormat. I was tired of people giving me checks, walking on me, stealing funds from me, helping people that had did not have my best interest at heart. So what I did was I went to go get help, yes, with HMMR so I can interrupt that pattern. As a history, a family history, we haven't made a lot of good decisions in our mates. We have that kind of history, a lot of history with women making bad decisions in mates, and I wanted to interrupt that pattern. I didn't want to continue to make these toxic decisions and letting my people in my environment walk all over me and treat me like trash. So it was a multitude of people in my environments that were deliberately causing psychological damage. And I had to interrupt that because I had value. I didn't need people to repetitively rob me, blame me for it, walk all over me when I'm footing the bill, people living with me, mistreating me, bullying me in my own environment. I didn't deserve it. So what I did was I went to go get help within myself so I can interrupt being disrespected and violated by people that I loved, me making bad choices in men. So I wanted to interrupt that pattern. So yes, you're right. I did go get help. 
and it wasn't really normal, that experience. So I went online and tried to get help. And then that became weird. But I did and get a lot of... And that's where I think this all stemmed from. Okay, but we're deflecting. Okay, so it that's was when, helpful. That's, that's when you start changing. Well, I don't understand why so many people would take a, um, be intimidated by me standing up for myself and stopping or interrupting the pattern of me being a doormat. I don't need for people to repeatedly rob me, give me bad chicks, and have things bouncing, robbing my kids, lying, slandering, conning, calling me, starting arguments, keep it having me emotional distress. I don't know why people were doing that. Then lending people the cars. And then I told you when you parked in the handicaps park, I said that I have no tickets. Be careful with this car that I had lent you. And then you went ahead and parked in the handicap. So I wanted to interrupt being treated like that and people gaslighting me and blaming me for their bad behavior. Then buying you a car and I have never had value to you and a multitude of other family members. What makes you think that you Because never if I had value, you wouldn't gaslight me and then mistreat me over being violated. We would concentrate on me being violated and you would stand up for me. Remember when we went to that place? I have stood up for you. Okay, so right now we're being interrupted and then you're How saying... Are you what? Okay, so what did I do to your child slandering me of a line? I, people know I, I volunteered at church. I'm very good with children. So what have you concocted that happened with your child? I didn't concoct nothing. Okay, well tell me. No, because you like to record shit and put some and put stuff on YouTube. If you I don't, put, I just don't like, understand if why I have to be slandered. On YouTube, put some productive on YouTube, like me singing or making some shirts, so we could get found and get. Some yeah, I told you to make the shirt. I told you that we can do that, and you have yet to supply the shirt. But you, you have yet to record me singing. You have yet to record me Sing. making the shirt. You, I'm recording. I mean, what? So I don't. I just don't understand. I love my nieces a very lot. Lot. I took them to Sea World. I put it the bill for um, birthday parties when you know to um, the um, pizza when I barely had funds for hotel stays with indoor pools. I don't know, but like I said earlier, and before hot you start tubs. recording this conversation, I'm not going to keep going. I just don't understand why you would possibly put, accuse me of doing something to your children and that never happened. So I'm done. We went to water parks. I and we drove in my car to go look at Christmas You're lights. You're not going to keep recording me. I'm I just done. don't understand why you would make false allegations of something that happened with your child that didn't and I'm then don't want to well tell me what happened when i dropped her off to go out one night you supposed to have beat her because she didn't do something or something child, i don't know please i ain't never put my hands on your kids i would call you and tell you when they're doing something wrong yes and you did call me this one that night and I didn't know. told me she was gonna get a whooping and from according to her she didn't just get a whooping she got her ass beat that is not true, cause I wouldn't. I didn't. I didn't touch your child. Yes. Okay. Well, all you I know. You called me and you said, "Now you're finna get a whooping." No, but that like didn't I happen. Said, from what she said, she didn't get a whooping. She got her ass beat. Well, I do recall when you were whooping your child, and then I told you why. You know damn well she, that my kids don't get whooping. She said, I'm "Please, sorry, my, but okay. I'm gonna put myself out there. Okay, I don't well, whoop my kids. Okay, and you so." Know that. I called you and so I told like you, I said, if you gonna put something out there about me, put it out there right. I just don't, I don't understand. Have no to lie about each shit, time about what I do, I'm about trying what to I build did myself in up. Past, we get into an argument. Each time I try to build myself up, try to get my funds, try to get the stimulus, you interrupted. I'm not interrupting. Okay, I don't. Gonna, I, I, I interrupted because you was so on my phone. So many arguments. So many arguments. So we got to argue. Okay, so I beat your child. I'm sorry. I didn't wasn't aware that I beat your child. I would never put my nieces through anything like that. I apologize. All I remember is calling you and telling you that she was acting up, and then um. And so, so you, and remember you told them. Me. Oh, so you remember them? Yeah, and I didn't whoop her. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did because she I didn't said her. you beat her. Okay, well I didn't whoop her. All I remember is taking your niece to SeaWorld and all kinds of other different things and buying her swimming suits and all kinds of other different things, going swimming all the time, going fishing. I don't know why all these discrepancies keep coming from. I just don't want... I mean, I see you reading your text, but I don't want to, you know, repetitively keep getting... Because I have, I already have... Oh, you still talking. I done said I was the... Oh, okay. Well, good. Because you keep recording me. I just don't want to keep repetitively having psychological damage when I, I haven't recuperated from the last psychological damage of being robbed for funds. I told you, record some, record some, for you make me some shirts and things. I'm trying to get the your, help your shirt business and put it online. I told you that. And use your shirt to have you use the shirts that you create. 
for the uh, what, uh, my YouTube channel. I told you that.